emerged at 10, a message of racial hate and violence threatening at least two members of Bastrop High School's school community by name. Tonight, a teenage girl is under arrest. But it hasn't eased some fears, and the night team's Chelsea Jones talks to a parent who wonders whether there's really another message here. Chelsea? Well, Gordon Natasha, police say it began as a post on a fake Facebook profile threatening to shoot African-American students, but one parent says this could have been a cry for help. Monica Smith knows many schools deal with threats of violence. She just never thought it would have happened at her daughter's school, Bastrop High. We see so many times in different places in our United States where things happen at schools and there's not a good outcome. Thursday night, this post circulated from a fake profile on Facebook threatening to shoot African-American students at the school. Police tracked down a suspect, 17-year-old Tyena Roden, and charged her with terrorist threats. But Smith says the comment section shows few people stopped to think about what could have happened. Thank you, Lord. You know, it didn't manifest. Or thank you, Lord, my child is okay. The faculty and staff are all fine. Many parents were frightened by the threats sent here to Bastrop High School. And one parent says, although those are valid concerns, everyone should be a little more understanding. We don't know what's going on in that child's life. This could have been a cry for help. This could have been someone needing and didn't know how to reach out to someone. Smith says the quick action from both Bastrop Police and the Morehouse Parish Sheriff's Office made her comfortable enough to send her daughter to school Friday. She says, as a people, we need to learn how to be slower to judge one another. We just need to learn to look at situations differently instead of always being so quick to condemn. Morehouse Parish Sheriff Mike Tubb says that there was an increased police presence at Bastrop High School this morning and more school resource officers were on hand throughout the day, but he says they encountered no issues. Live in the studio, Chelsea Jones, NBC 10, your local news leader. Thank you, Chelsea.